Hi guys, welcome to this quick review about this Yoton 17.5 inches portable DVD player with a 15.5 inch HD swivel screen for car and kids with a 4 to 6 hours working time with built in battery, dual stereo speakers, USB SD, AV, audio gamepad support, and so on and so on. And the whole thing is listed at the moment for only $69, which makes it look like the perfect deal as a portable DVD player but is it really that or is it not unfortunately I have to tell you that not everything is as good as it looks but I'm not telling you not to buy I mean you still have to decide on your own because there are some really really good things as well but there are also quite some limitations regarding this portable DVD player so let's look at everything so what we get is this core device of course when we uh, lift it up and touch it it makes more like an impression from the last century uh, this is what I expected to buy maybe in the year 1995 2000 something like that this is not like the latest DVD player of the year 2022 definitely not but we are also talking about a very very low price we have this four soft rubber feet which is really nice so you can uh, have it almost everywhere so it has a very safe stand it's not scratching anything by the way here on the side we have all these ports we have the port for uh, USB media like for a USB stick then we have this card reader where you can put something on a card and play directly from here here we have the headphone jack then we have AV in AV out so we could play something from another player here on this screen or we could use this as a DVD player uh, to display it then on your TV or like on a projector or so then we have the on off here we have the power and here we have even a USB port for gaming pads yeah this could also work as a gaming console it looks like it's compatible with some old uh, video CD gaming discs I think there is something around which is called super gaming vcd disc i think it's not available to buy probably you have to uh, download the file and then burn it on a disc and then you could use it with 300 games don't ask me if this is legal or not i'm just saying that this thing is available or this could be an option by the way the external controllers you have to buy extra then we get also this remote control by the way you have to uh, buy your own batteries two times triple a battery then it comes with this instructions manual and we have also these specs here i hope you can read that then it comes with this av cable then it comes with this car charging cable but again we can use it uh, just with the batteries for around four hours or maybe six hours so it should last for about two movies then it comes with this normal 110 and 240 volts power adapter so we get quite a lot and so we can open it from the side and as you can see we can open it quite a bit we can make it almost straight yeah actually we can make it straight so you can see the screen is super flexible yeah let's turn it on already that you can see that it is really working in this state as well usually we are not using it like that usually we would use it like that but the good thing is also that you can see see that the visibility of the screen is really really good from almost all the sides so the whole family could watch it's not only for one person the good thing is the visibility is really good from all sides and the really interesting option is to put it in a 90 degrees angle and then we can twist it around fully 180 degrees and then lay it down and then we can hold it like a tablet of course it's a very thick tablet but it would work uh, like a tablet and you can see again here the screen especially from the side is really good maybe not from very low but from the sides it's really good even from the top so it's definitely a good screen I would say it's not a bad screen I mean the native resolution is 
1280 by 800 if I'm not wrong. We just have to be a little bit careful that we don't twist it into the wrong direction. Let's say from here we can only turn it in this direction not in the other direction. If you give this to children you have to be really careful that they don't twist it in the wrong direction otherwise probably it could be damaged. So we have it here, really nice, hope you can see that. So when I look at it from here, then it makes a really good impression here. There is some uh, mirroring, but uh, not too much. I would say as soon as we have something on the screen, it's definitely on an acceptable range. Then we have a lot of control and the speakers here. Maybe I have to lift it up that you can see it better. Here left and right speaker, and we have the LCD subtitle, rewind fast forward, volume up, down, and also again reverse and uh, fast forward, stop mode, USB setup, and this almost like a joystick, you can use this for everything which is displayed, all the menus here, you can use it directly from here, instead of using the remote controls, you have plenty of options. But also now a couple of disappointments I have to tell you regarding the screen size. When I measure this here, it is barely 14 inches, uh, definitely not 15.5 and definitely not 17 inches, but it's still much larger than like a normal 10 inch tablet or so, no doubt about that. But also some other thing, if you think you can just plug in some normal 1080p video here, yeah, plug this in. I have here a 1080p video and a 4K video and it instantly shows what it has here on the screen. And again, we can use this thing here to go down. We press OK and it does nothing because the maximum resolution for an MP4 would be 480 by 320 pixels. This is uh, definitely something from the last century and definitely not something which we expect in 2022. So the AV or MP4 player uh, from a stick or card reader is basically useless unfortunately. But we can still use it as a DVD player. We just uh, slide this thing to the left side and it opens this tray. We add the DVD and it starts automatically reading and playing. Just needs a couple of seconds, doesn't take too long. We have the menus, everything, subtitle. We can also control it from here. The normal DVD is really working absolutely awesome. There haven't been any lags or so. I would say also the screen, yeah, when we go a little bit closer, I would say the screen is really good. It has a pretty good brightness, good colors, I would say sharpness. So I would say if you're just looking for a nice portable DVD player with a large screen, long battery runtime for a pretty attractive price. So this could still be the thing for you and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel and thanks for watching. See you next time.